Rhinoceroses were once a common animal on the landscape of Nebraska. I am standing in a fossil bed surrounded by fossil skeletons, most of which are rhinos. And the fact that they are complete skeletons make this site very special. This fossil site is the result of a catastrophe. A supervolcanic eruption from the Yellowstone hotspot produced enough volcanic ash to blanket Nebraska with 12 inches of powdery glass dust. The animal life was devastated by the storm of volcanic ash. Some of the animals died in a water hole, which is what you are looking at here. An ancient water hole that drifted full of ash bearing the animals that died here. The rhinos found here at Ashfall are barrel-bodied rhinos that roamed the grasslands almost 12 million years ago. Built like a hippopotamus, some paleontologists think that barrel-bodied rhinos lived their lives like hippos. The rhinos at Ashfall tell us much more about how they lived their lives. This skeleton is from an adult female rhino. The females have shorter tusks in the lower jaw and here's an example of one right here in the lower jaw. Uh, you can see the teeth in the mouth of the rhino. Here's the skull. This is where the nose would have been. And just about every one of the adult female rhinos at the Ashfall site have young calves laying right next to it. And this is an example of one of the little calves. A young calf, probably just a month or so old, that's laying head to head with its mother. One interesting thing is that the young calves are about the same age. They're about the same size. They have the same number of baby teeth in their jaw. So this means that the little calves must have been born about the same time. This is a good indication that barrel-bodied rhinos had a certain time of year when they had their young. Let's compare an example of one of the bull rhinos with, with the cow, with the female. This is one of the bull rhinos. The bulls have much larger tusks in their lower jaw. I think you can easily see how much larger this uh, lower tusk is than, uh, than the female. And uh, the bulls in general are a little bit larger. Their bones are a little bit larger. They were a little bit larger in size than the females. This is another example of an adult bull rhino. Once again, take a look at the front of the lower jaw. There's its tusk, good sized tusk right here. And then you can see the large chewing teeth right there. We know that a characteristic of rhinos is the horn. Some fossil rhinos had horns, some did not. The horns are not preserved as fossils as the horn is made of keratin or densely matted hair. The horns deteriorate and are not preserved like the bone is. It is possible to determine if a rhino had a horn or more than one horn by looking at the top of the nose bone. This is the nose bone on the skull right here. And this rough spot indicates that the barrel-bodied rhinos had one small horn. That rough spot is where the horn attaches. That's where the horn grows from. Many things can be learned about ashfall animals that cannot be determined from other fossil sites. For example, the barrel-bodied rhino, the scientific name for the barrel-bodied rhino is Teleoceros. Teleoceros was a grazer, a grass eater. The cheek teeth are high crowned. And by that, I mean that this part of the tooth that, it, that uh, juts out of the jaw, out of the, out of the tooth socket, it's really quite high. And, and that's a characteristic of a grass eater. Ashfall rhinos also have grass seeds in their mouths and stuck between their teeth, which gives us a very good idea that these animals did eat grass for a living. Ashfall rhinos range in age from very young calves to elderly adults. These two rhinos are older calves that have been weaned from their mother. When compared to the black rhino that lives in Africa today, these growing youngsters would have been about three years old. Here are two life-size, lifelike depictions of Teleoceros major, the Ashfall barrel-bodied rhino. And these two rhinos are bull rhinos and they're engaged in battle. The tusks that I mentioned before, the tusks are fighting teeth. 
Asian rhinos of today have tusks and uh, they use tusks and their horns for fighting. And that, that is well documented by wildlife biologists. During the mating season, bull rhinos engage in battle just like these two guys are doing right here. Many years ago, an Ashfall paleontologist discovered wounds in the skulls of Ashfall rhinos that were injured during a fight. So we have evidence that even long ago, male rhinos fought with each, with each other just like modern rhinos do today. About 100 rhino skeletons have been found so far at the Ashfall site. And as I mentioned before, of those different skeletons, there are adult females, there are young calves, and there are a few bulls. By looking at the number of females compared to males, wildlife biologists tell us that the Ashfall barrel-bodied rhinos probably lived in small herds. There are four adult females for each bull. Many species of rhinoceros are known from the fossil record in Nebraska going all the way back to about 40 million years ago. The last of the North American rhinos disappeared about 5 million years ago. The extinction of rhinos on this continent is not well understood. We're not certain why they disappeared, but cooling and drying of the climate may have had something to do with their disappearance. The barrel-bodied rhinos at Ashfall have been dated at almost 12 million years in age. The Ashfall site is more than a bone bed. The many complete skeletons and all of the other information that is preserved is an opportunity for paleontologists to study the lifestyle, behavior, and ecology of these extinct species. You can see the Ashfall rhinos for yourself in a building called the Rhino Barn at the Ashfall Fossil Bed State Historical Park in North Central Nebraska. Be sure to check our website before making the trip. This is Rick Otto for Fossil Fridays at the University of Nebraska State Museum.